Hello everyone, welcome back to Alaska. This is our 18 month review slash tour video of our Winnebago Rebel 4x4 that we've been exploring around Alaska for the last 18 months. If you haven't watched our channel before, I'm Jim and Cynthia and we have Ember as well. The stuff we're gonna talk about today is primarily our upgrades and our mods and the things that we've done to make the van a little bit more comfortable. You do not need to do this stuff by any means. Uh, when we first started this journey, we started by just buying a couple blankets, throwing it on the bed, buying some cheap pots and pans from Walmart, and we hit the road. You might want to tell them what's going on around us. We're kind of in a weird place to be kicking off this video. We're in a traffic jam on the middle of the highway. This is sort of what happens when you're traveling in a winter storm in Alaska. You never know what to expect. About two and a half years ago, Jim and I decided that we would start our quest to find the perfect van for our lifestyle. And during that quest, we discovered the Winnebago Rebel. Every six months or so, we've been doing an update and we are now about 18 months out and into actually ownership of the Rebel. Yesterday, we stopped and we were going to give you a tour of the inside and the outside of our van, but things happened and we ended up here on the side of the roadside. If this is your first time to our channel, I think you're gonna have a lot of fun with us. So make sure that you hit that subscribe button and ding that notification bell to get notifications when we post videos every Sunday morning. Let's go take a look inside the Rebel and see what's different. We thought about waiting until all of the upgrades were complete to do a final like shabam, we're done. But it's been taking a little bit more time than we thought. So we're gonna show you what we've done so far because it's showing up in our pictures. I know many of you have had questions as to what's been going on, where our van has been. We answered a few of those questions in our last video, but today Jim's gonna show you the outside of the van. One of the first upgrades that we completed that people started noticing from our videos and our pictures is the coating that we put on the hood and the sides of our van. One of the things that we noticed was all the damage that was accumulating on the van from all of our travels throughout Alaska. And to do that, uh, we wanted to make sure that we added some protection in those areas that we were specifically noticing that damage in. And some of the dents and dings that were on here previously are now gone because of the coating that we put over the top of it. We decided not to do a traditional wrap because we knew that with a wrap it's easier to tear or scratch or ding. So we went with Arma Bedliner and Arma has been a product since 1988 and they use it for many, many different types of manufacturing and coating of equipment up here in Alaska specifically but it's best known for bed liners. So the areas that we went ahead and did a, uh, the coating on is our hood and our grill. Both of these, as I mentioned, were dinged up and dented. Now it's smooth as a baby's bottom. The other two areas that we had the coating put on is our rockers down here. We also put armor coating on the flares. These things are rock magnets. We also extended it from the flares up around our windows because one of the things that we noticed was tree branches were scratching up the side of the van. In our previous walkthrough, you noticed that we talked about rust that was accumulating on our running boards on each of the brackets. So while we were having the armor coating put on, they did uh, de-rusting and rust proofing on those running boards as well. So we have no more rust down there. We've been doing all of our 
upgrades locally, and this was actually completed by Auto Armor of Alaska. Their customer service was top notch, great communication, and we really, really like the product. It has a very nice consistency and feel to it, and it has a lifetime warranty, which is something else that we were paying attention to so that if anything does happen to it, we can get it fixed. One of the other upgrades that we did recently was tent both our driver's side and passenger side window. This tent is about 20%. And the purpose of this is so that on a hot summer day, the sunlight isn't blaring through your windows, creating heating issues. And it also gives us a little bit more privacy. The mod that we just recently completed and it's taken the longest due to shipping up parts up here is the Backwood Adventures mod bumper. We also have a 12,000 pound worn winch. And of course, any winch needs to have good recovery gear. So when we get to the inside, we'll show you our recovery gear as well. We went with synthetic rope for our recovery line. Although the winch can help get us out of trouble, we would prefer to use it to help get us into some harder to reach places. We also installed new lighting. We have a 20 inch light bar on the bull bar, as well as two cube lights on either side. These are all Vision X lighting, which means they have a lifetime guarantee also. Up top, we installed a 40 inch light bar. That's also a Vision X light, and it's mounted directly to our roof rack. We were not originally big fans of the side ladders until we saw this one, and we realized how crappy our stock ladder was. This is durable, it's tough, and it's super easy to use, even as short as Cynthia is. Well, I'm not really short, but I can, <laughs> I can step up onto it. On the old one, I had to put my foot up here, even to get to the first step, and now I can just start down here. We also went with the Backwoods rear bumper, and we used to have a hitch step. We wanted to free up our hitch, so this bumper has a built-in step. One of the things that we like about this bumper is it doesn't extend the length of our van. The bumper also has two one-inch cube lights. They're integrated into our reverse lights and they make it clear as day for backing up now. And it allows our rear camera to actually be useful at night. In the past, we would have to come outside, shine a flashlight so that we could get enough light into that camera. Now with these lights, we don't have any problems backing up at all. And one last modification that we've made on the outside here recently is we did add max tracks up on the roof for our recovery gear. We can easily access them from the side ladder, which gives us a little peace of mind as well if we get stuck in the snow. Well, it was nice to take a nap here last night, but I think we should probably move on and then show everybody the rest of what we've done to the inside. What do you think? Sounds like a plan. In our last update on the van, we gave you storage solutions and we showed you our uh, GLSS and all of our storage in the closet, but we also added an Overland Gear Guy seat organizer and we love it because the top pocket holds our laptop, both of our iPads and our GoPros and basically all of our camera equipment. We can turn the chairs around and no problem and I think Jim's going to do that in a minute to make our living space a little bit more cozy and show you the rest of the inside and what we've done differently. We have talked about this stuff in previous videos, but just so you don't have to go back through all of our videos and watch them again, we are doing a quick van tour, but we do have more extended tours from the past. We did a one year, we did a six month, we did a, now this is our year and a half. Let's just do a quick overview of what's new. One of, the, one of those things is our Overland Gear Guy window pillows, and these are made with 
have lock wool. They're handmade and they are super high quality. We weren't sure at first if we would need them because we love our acrylic windows, but the acrylic windows still lose heat. And once we put these up, pull up the shades, not only does it keep in more heat, but from the outside, we're even more stealthy. Last night we noticed that with those window pillows up, you know how you have those little pins of light that come through these wonderful shades? It eliminates that. It's completely dark from the outside with these window pillows up. I also think that it would be helpful in warm weather conditions if you put these up to keep the sun out. Anyway, I really like them. Of course, we love Overland Gear Guy's stuff. It's made in the USA and he's a really cool guy to work with. So we recommend that you check out his website below. I also want to show you the window shade though that's on the slider door. Let's take a look at that. The slider door window pillow. We put it in and pull the shade up. And our intention was just to leave it up overnight and then we accidentally left it up and we drove. We really didn't mean to, but then when we were driving, well, this is what happened. However, the window rattle has been something that we just haven't been able to find a solution for and it's still not rattling. Listen to that. I really don't know if you can hear it on here, but I hear nothing back there. Just a little bit of like wind, no rattle. As you can see, we don't have the headliner and we like that. We like that a lot. And if you're wondering what this is, I originally had a wool blanket up here that would separate the cab from the front and at night it just helped keep the heat in. We have our pots and pans and all this good stuff up here. Our magma pots and pans, which we absolutely love. Our old drone, we'll show you the new one soon. And this is full of all kinds of goodies like our lights and anything really electronic that isn't in our behind the seat storage thingy. So this space right here, we originally thought that we might use as a sleeping space and that didn't happen. We were actually super excited to have that extra space. It's hers now. We took out the cushion that was behind here to give her more room and now she has the perfect amount of space. If I was to make it 100% perfect, I don't know how you feel about this, Jim, but I'm considering turning this this way, but I think that that would be a future modification. And we'll talk about those. But for now, it's really nice to have taken out that cushion because we don't use it. In our closet, not much has changed. We actually have more stuff than we've had before with our Life Pro straws now up in here. We keep our Instapot in this. We also keep our towels, a little bit more clothing in here and our chemicals. Pretty much everything that we don't really have a spot for ends up in these bins. They are not as organized as they used to be and I'm not going to show you them. I do keep my extra coat here and you know what I love still using is a bucket is a garbage can. I think it's the most practical garbage can we can have because a bucket has multiple uses other than just a garbage can. Okay. Also, a new addition in here. Can I tell them about it? Mm -hmm. It's Jimmy's new drone. It's a Skydio. Is that how you say it? Skydio? Skydio 2. Skydio 2. Ooh. Comes in a mighty big case, so we had to find room for that. Ended up in here for now because we haven't played with it yet. Maybe we should play with it for this video. But Jim's new drone, the Skydio 2, is hanging out down here in the bathroom. We also have our antifreeze. What do we use this for? <laughs> so our antifreeze is just an extra layer of protection uh, for the toilet when it's super cold outside. We always add some antifreeze and that helps keep things thawed out. In reality, our toilet paper situation is a little bit of a mess. Um, I leave it right here. And sometimes when I open the door, it just falls out. It's part of it. I also leave it right here sometimes on the countertop. I don't use the toilet paper roll thingy. It's junk. It gets wet when we shower and um, it really just doesn't hold it. So I don't even use that. But we do use a shower by taking these out and we shower about every three or four days. The one and only fix that Jim has had to do inside the van is upgrade our latches. See, these ones. He made them more heavy duty. It was really easy. That's all we had to do. I mean, 
I know we hear a lot about how the quality of Winnebago's build isn't the best. We went into it knowing that it would be built. Having to upgrade things, fix things, that's just part of it. It's actually kind of part of the fun too. Call me crazy, but I like it. One of the things that sold us on the Revel was a Eurolift bed. Check this out. Just push this button and it creates the garage space. And previously, before we had this garage space organized, we didn't have the GLSS back here. So let's show you what it looks like now. Hi. The last time we talked to you, we had just installed the GLSS, which stands for the Garage Lounge Storage System. And we had had it for a couple of weeks at that point. We have rearranged this several times since and it holds so much stuff. At this point, we've had it for about six to eight months and it's held up really, really well. One of the questions I find in my comment section below quite often is about my clothing. Like, where do we keep it? Jim doesn't need much. He has like two sweatshirts, two pairs of boots and two pairs of pants and a couple of t-shirts. That's all he needs. I require a little bit more, but not as much. I'm still very minimalistic. I have uh, some leggings, boots, sweatshirts, and it all goes in here. And these are super light and easy to move. We pack in these bags oops, that they're waterproof. Well, hold on my clothes. It's kind of a mess. I don't really want to show you that. Jim's clothes are in here. I also have jacket, shoes, more shoes, and I'm going to let him show you the tools because I don't want to pull all those out, but he's got a lot of tools back here. We put them here because we need easy access to these tools if through the door. He's got his axe, drill, duct tape. We're really not going to go through all of this stuff, but his theory is what? Don't carry more than you know how to use. Uh, I'm actually going to put all my shoes, so this is one pair. <laughs> this is my other absolutely favorite pair. Just extra pair, which I think I'm going to leave out because he's getting kind of soggy today. The other thing I wanted to show you is we did upgrade the mattress and this is a DIY project. I took a seven inch memory foam mattress and cut it up. And then I took these to my mom and she covered them with an old sheet. So now we have a seven inch thick. It doesn't fit perfectly and that's, that's fine. It doesn't have to fit perfectly for us. It's probably one of the most comfortable mattresses I've ever slept on. This is the side that I find myself sitting on most often. I almost said sleeping. We actually don't sleep back here. Um, we haven't found the need to, it's just where we hang out and lounge, but this is where we find ourselves sitting. And again, I like the extra space back here because this is where I store all my stuff while I'm sleeping at night. I drink water and tea and it stays right there, so it's perfect. Under here though, you guys, holds a lot of stuff. I wanna show you that. It up really easily. Okay, so much more space in here. And as you can see, we have a lot more space. I don't wanna go through everything. I think in the future, we're gonna do, we have upgraded all of our safety equipment and we'll show you what we've upgraded since last season. But we do have our thermal blanket that goes on our back doors. And this is one of my favorite things that we have in the van because it just, with magnets, snaps up on the back. We'll show you that. We also have we also have our bin with our bug screens in them and of course we don't use them in the winter but they're stored in here with a bunch of like randomness underneath it this is like our food we also have our recovery gear for our winch so this has the tow rope tree strap shackles everything that we need in case of emergency 
Inside the door, we keep our water hose and we also have our scraper for our windshield. I found this like at Napa Auto Parts or AutoZone, not quite sure, but it extends to 60 inches. It's really good for cleaning off our windshield and our solar panels. The GLSS has been another one of our favorite things that we've purchased and upgraded for the Rebel because otherwise all of our stuff was just floating around in bins and everything that we just showed you is now nice, neat, and organized. And it comes out so easily that we can take it out if we want to. We haven't had to. If you're thinking in terms of space, how much pet space we have back here, I'm 5'7", and um, I fit back here perfectly fine. I'm not small, and I feel like I have a ton of space back here, even when Jim and I are back here together. I think Jim should come back here and sit, and you should see how it looks. I find it pretty cozy back here also. One of the added bonuses is Winnebago installed ram mounts all over the van. So you've got a ram mount here, you have one on this side of the bed. And now that we actually have RAM mounts for our iPads, we could drop it down and have a TV right here. Here we have more Overland Gear Guide pouches to hold. Just our bug spray and some uh, emergency equipment in here. This all used to be in one bin. And now it just fits perfectly back here. And there you have it, you guys. After a year and a half of ownership and over 30,000 miles, we've taken it. We bought it in Eugene, Oregon. We drove it up to Toyotuk in Canada and all the way up to Prudhoe Bay, all over Alaska. And we've been talking about it enough. And you, if you've been with us for a while, you might be tired of hearing it, but we are somewhat trapped in our borders and we're doing everything correct. We don't want to go through Canada without it being a legitimate reason and right now we just don't feel like we have a legitimate reason to leave Alaska so we're here and we're just gonna continue these adventures like this <laughs> and share them with you and we're so much fun having you with us please hit that subscribe button hit that like button if you like this video give us that thumbs up and until next time you guys thanks for being here with us if there's anything that we missed let us know in the comment section below we always answer our comments I need to change my socks. It's a little cold out here. <laughs> it's a good thing he has extra shoes. <laughs> anyway, guys, we'll see you next time. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you later. Stay happy. Stay healthy. Stay safe. We'll Bye. see you again soon. <laughs> Bye.